It's my podcast voice. Thank you for having me on your podcast. In a world. This is episode 83 of the Alt Arts Academy podcast, How to Promote Your Podcast, with Dean Victor Varnado and Vice Queen Roxanne Lim. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Arts Academy podcast. I'm Dean Victor Varnado. This is Vice Queen Roxanne. It is. It is. Do you hear that? <laughs> it A confirmation that it is indeed Vice Queen Roxanne. Uh, at the Arts Academy podcast, we tell you everything you need to know about the mechanics of arts. All those behind the scene things that everybody doesn't tell you, we'll, we'll tell you. You know why? Because we're good people. I mean, I'm speaking for myself. Oh, oh okay. I mean, I can't say, I can't say whether or not you're a good person, <laughs> Vice Queen Roxanne. It's really up to you. I guess, I guess, you know, I don't need you to vouch for me. It's fine. All right. She doesn't need me to vouch for her. Anyway, so uh, today what we're going to be talking about is marketing your podcast, marketing, getting it out there, letting people know you exist. Now, I've done a lot of research recently because we're about to start a big campaign for my podcast. And so I've been reading a lot about how to uh, get my podcast out there and reading a lot about the most effective ways to market a podcast. Now I can, I can tell you this, I haven't done all these things yet, so I can't tell you how they, how they land, but I can tell you that I did research and I'm a good researcher because that's what I used to do for a living. And now instead I act like a fool. All right, Roxanne, are you ready? I'm so ready. (laughs) That was enthusiasm at its core, everyone. All right, so uh, when you want to promote your podcast, they I can tell you what they say is the most effective way to promote your podcast, and that is to advertise on other podcasts. Everybody, every source that I have seen says that that is the most effective way to get people to uh, jam on your podcast is to uh advertise on other podcasts you can advertise in a couple of different ways um you can you can uh appear on other podcasts and that's one way uh you can buy ads on other podcasts that's another way you can trade with podcasts if you have a podcast if you find podcasts that are similar to yours you can actually trade with them and then and then get them to um and and get them give them an advertisement for your advertisement. And that's actually the best, I think the best way to like have growth without uh, spending a lot of money. There's actually a website that is set up just so people can trade promos on podcasts. I just found out about it and I don't remember the name. I'm going to look it up right now. Hold on a second while I figure it out. Uh, Roxanne, how do you, how do you market your podcast by the way? And what is your podcast? I need to listen to it. Um, I'm actually rebranding it right now. So my podcast was Suplatopod. It was a podcast on the intersection of pop culture and Filipino culture. Um, so basically, I would interview regular people in my network. Um, uh-huh. that I identified as Filipino. So I had an architect. I had um, a rap artist. I had a hockey player. I had someone from Pixar. Um and so these are people that are a little bit lesser known, but like they're still contributing a lot in their work. And we would just talk about current events and social issues from their lens. So we talked about um, houselessness and homelessness with the architect. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, just stuff like that. And then we were on the Anchor platform. Mm-hmm. That's what I used, Anchor FM. and. I liked Anchor a lot because of its accessibility and it was very easy for me to understand. I know people that were a lot better at Anchor because they actually did the um, the voiceovers for ads. I didn't do those, but I wanted to. Um, Anchor FM, isn't that the one? They also will, um, they also will allow you, they, I mean, they will start feeding you advertising pretty quickly mm-hmm. and you can, yeah. you can actually make money with your podcast very quickly if you start on Anchor FM. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that I mean that I think that's a really good thing. I I'm I, w- I was trying to find the new site that popped up 
I just cannot find it. But it is a site where you can trade promos. Maybe you can actually search for it. Sure. Um, it it's a web. It's basically like a a a social media site for podcasters where you can trade promos and also also you can you can go on the podcast and then offer yourself up as a guest for other people and then those people they those people can just like pick you and and then they you can be guests on people's podcasts it's just and it's a free site and i just don't remember what it's called but if we're you say we're not talking about clubhouse right you are not talking about clubhouse okay. we're talking about a sure. no we're not talking about clubhouse clubhouse <laughs> is a totally different thing that i'm not even going into i've actually okay. never done clubhouse I feel like you would be good at Clubhouse. I don't think I, I don't think that I would be good at Clubhouse because I don't take things very seriously. And on Clubhouse, I hear they take themselves very seriously. Is that true? Am, uh, am I just making up a myth now? I think they do take things seriously, but like I also have seen really silly things on Clubhouse as well. So I, I like silly you, things. The silly yeah. things are my favorite. Yeah. Oh, I'll research this for you while you continue talking. Well, great. Um, not only not only look up not only look up what that side is, but then also there is a podcast advertising site where basically, if your podcast gets above a certain number of listeners, like if you're like a podcast that has five thousand downloads per episode, then you can go on the site, and on that site they will uh, find advertisers for you. You can just list your podcast. You can list how many how many downloads you get and then they'll find advertisers for you so you don't have to find them for yourself um not not everybody i i think that a lot of people uh, who do podcasting they that that part seems daunting like monetizing or turning it into uh, monetization but there's actually like very simple systems set up where they'll pretty much just find it for you and in fact if you're on the right platform like uh fm uh, uh what was the podcast you were on the podcast what was the plat platform you're on when you made anchor. your podcast anchor if you're on anchor um i use i use Acast. uh if your podcast starts getting a lot of listeners then they will actually start finding advertisers for you but the big thing is like getting listeners on your podcast which is what we're talking about so we talked about the most popular version which is uh which is promoting promoing on other podcasts but there's other ways that people have found podcasts um the way that people find uh one way that people find listeners for free is by getting people to write about their podcasts so here's the thing that you can do there are still tons and tons and tons and tons of blogs about every subject out there and all those blogs need content in fact not only do a lot of those blogs need content, a lot of them will pay you for content. That's not the important thing. I'm not trying to make you into a blogger, but I'm saying that if you write an article that fits that blog and you link to your podcast um, as an example of whatever that article is. So for instance, if your podcast say was about, um, was about, uh, the lifestyles of Filipino people and you found a blog that wrote about the same thing and then you um, wrote a little story not even 500 words like a simple story and then you use your podcast as a reference that's a type of thing that they would publish because they need to publish content and then their readers can become your listeners this takes like a lot more legwork but it is something that you can do yourself without spending any money at all and you know what? Things that cost nothing are always the first things you want to grab, right? You don't want to just go for things that cost like a billion dollars. You don't? I mean, unless you have a billion dollars ready to go. I don't. But I do have a list of names that I can run by you to see if they are the uh, platforms. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Let's go, Roxanne. Let's go. I'm gonna shout these out. Um, yeah, we are we are not sponsored. This is not an ad. <laughs> this um, is not an ad. Um, megaphone, mid roll. Oh, okay. So megaphone, mid roll is a is an advertising company. So that's mm -hmm. a that's a company that will help you find advertisers for your podcast, and not the one where you can trade, uh, where you can trade uh, guests. Okay. Yeah. 
Mm, okay. So it's head gum. No, that is not it either. I, I wish I could remember what the name of this because it, it just it just started and I wanted to check it out and I'm really interested in it because it's such a good idea so that anybody can just upload anybody can just anybody can just um, log on as a podcast and then you can trade promos and trade guests. It's great. Um, actually, tell you what, why don't you why don't you talk a little bit and then I will find it because I, I really want people to get this information. Hey everyone. So we did not originally know the name of this platform when we first recorded this episode. However, we were able to locate it. It's called Wildcast. Um, the website is www.gowildcast.com. And I'm just going to briefly show you what the website looks like and we will go into more detail on how it works in next week's episode, um, so make sure to catch that. So we're going to go here to GoWildcast.com, and I'm going to press, okay, I got it. It says, a podcast platform that makes connecting and collaborating easier for everyone in the podcast space. So obviously, um, you have to set up an account. I already did. I'll briefly show you what that looks like very soon um but this platform basically allows you to book yourself as a podcast guest or you can find guests for your podcast in the reverse um if you have your own podcast you basically can look for guests using this site as well so again you can book yourself through this platform or you can find guests if you have your own podcast Okay, so that's the website, and I'm just briefly going to show you um, what it would look like when you start making a profile. One second. Here we go. Okay, so we're here. I created a basic account, and I have to fill out all this information. Um, it populates a URL for you. That's really cool. I just noticed that it's just my name. I love that. <laughs> um, so you would include the social media accounts um, that you want to connect it to, a little bit about yourself, you know, just the normal stuff. Um, but it will also ask you what you're interested in. So it asked me what preferred categories I needed or I wanted. And I put arts, performing arts. Sorry, that was my phone. I put arts slash performing arts. So once you fill that out, um, you'll be good to go. It'll show you like number of appearances, how many times you've been viewed. Um, and let's explore a little bit. So we're exploring. These are all podcasts that you can connect with and pitch yourself basically. And, you know, ask to guest on their show. Um, you have a bunch of different types of categories. You have society and culture, arts and food philosophy, health and fitness, education. So you would really just press any of these and press connect. And then you pitch yourself, press submit. And then here it'll be all your connections and messages that you've sent as well as here. And then your calendar, um, you know, when you're booked and busy, it'll show when you're due for a recording. So yeah, that is Wildcast in a nutshell. Again, we will be giving a more in-depth overview of how to use this platform on Thursday, July 8th. Um, so tune into our recording then at 4 p.m. so that you can learn more. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. I see that there is only one question in our comments. Okay, it's, let's hear it. It is from Moodit. It's more of, I guess it's an opinion question. It says, if I started a podcast that I lost steam in making and uploading, should I start a new one or revisit my existing one? Um, I would say that if you have one subscriber, then at least you could restart your podcast. Just because if, if people are subscribed to your RSS feed, when you start uploading a new podcast, they'll get notified and at least you'll have more than zero listeners. That's what I would, uh, that's what I would say. Yeah. I also think that, um, 
perhaps it's not as fully fleshed out as um, it could be, especially since you said that you started the podcast to keep busy during quarantine. Um, so perhaps there's something with your concept that you could continue producing. All right. Uh, you know, I can't find it right now, but here's what I'm going to do for everybody here. If you uh, join our Facebook group, I will post it because I'm sure I will find it after this. But if you if you join our Facebook group, which is uh, the New York Alt Arts Academy Facebook group or our Facebook page, follow our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter or follow us on Instagram at uh, <laughs> what's our Instagram? <laughs> it's uh, Arts Academy. Wait, Alt Arts Academy. Alt, Alt Arts Academy. Right. Alt Arts Academy. A L T Arts Academy. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on uh, Twitter, whatever. I will make sure it gets out to you today because you've waited so long. You've been so patient and I feel like you need that payoff. How terrible is it that I can't remember the name of this thing? Oh my gosh. Victor uh, will I, I can't wait to check it out. Door. You know what? Uh, you know what else? You know what else? I'm going to not only am I going to get the name of this thing, but on their our next episode back. Our next episode back, we're going to give a review. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to mess around with it and see what it's like. And then I'll give you a review and see if it helps grow. Um, because I actually I actually have a lot of uh, stuff coming up that I want to promote. And so I'm going to start delving into appearing on other people's podcasts pretty quickly. I'm an excellent podcast guest, by the way. I'm very funny as a podcast guest. I whip smart. And I've got a great voice. So, but that's not the voice. This is, this is, hello, everybody. It's my podcast voice. Thank you for having me on your podcast. In a world. All right. Uh, that's it for today. If you have a question, answer your questions because we're going to wrap up real quick. Uh, just because I don't feel like you... I, I just because I don't feel like we got the chance to give you that big payoff of what that site is, I will say this. I'm going to just read a quick list of what other people have said are the top ways, which include some of the things we talked about, the top ways to promote your podcast. You can partner with other podcasts, podcasters, like you can trade promos. Um, you can also buy ads on podcasts, but being on other podcasts is the best way to get people. Why? Because you're already talking to people who like to listen to podcasts. And I mean, you can do Facebook ads, Google ads, et cetera, et cetera. And, and that's a whole nother thing, but, uh, but that's also another way to get people to, uh, listen to your podcast because you can target people by what kind of devices and what kind of interests they have. And the fact that they're uh, the type of person that, uh, listen to podcasts. Another thing that people suggest is to run giveaways. So, so for instance, you can, you can say, Hey, um, you know, uh, the best comments on these podcasts, we're going to give away this valuable thing that people are really going to get excited about. And people will listen to your podcast to find out if they win. Uh, you can, you can be a person who does SEO very well, because if you make your podcast SEO friendly and you follow trends, then people will find your podcast and it'll come up when they're searching for podcasts. But this is, this is also something that I think, um, has not a huge effect, but it's something that you should do. I mean, because if your podcast is SEO friendly, as you become more popular, it's just going to grow faster. Um, you can also go to podcasting conferences, which are a little expensive sometimes, but when you go to podcasting conferences, usually uh, people there will check out your podcast. Uh, good luck to everybody. And also make those social media videos that we talked about in the previous episode that will help spread the word about your podcast. Everyone, you've been great. Vice Queen Roxanne, you've also been great. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Arts Academy podcast. I am Dean Victor Vernado. You can check us out at Alt Arts Academy on all social media and artsacademypodcast.com. <laughs>